Okay, I'm back. Um, that was a weird call. Uh, we can stop picking up first, I don't know, but I have a job interview tomorrow, so I didn't know it was from them, so I had to. Okay. If I do that again. Oh, I keep doing that. Yeah, hopefully I have a good luck on that too. This is like my third job interview in like a month. So I love how this guy's animation doesn't like being on the stairs. Oh gosh, I almost messed up there. Oh, I got him. Wait, no, this is... Wait till the Hall of Red Cages. Dang it. Oh! Didn't have to go inside, I had to go on top. Oh. It's supposed to remind you of Castlevania. It's essentially if Dark Souls had a Castlevania styling to it. It's it's a very interesting concept for a game. It's just kind of sad that I got overshadowed by an actual Souls game coming out like two weeks later. I don't have my holy shield for it. Shut me out of all my thoughts. Yeah, I almost died from that ball. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Good, more people get phone calls. the vial so I can see invisible enemies. Please drop some. Thank you. Uh, the only the only difference between this and an actual Souls game is that uh, is that this game has a little bit too much grinding in it when it comes to um trying to find because 
um, not only do you have this beast theory of like every possible creature and everything it drops, but you can go, oh, I need to. Well, now I need to find all this stuff, but not only that. Yeah, so not only do I have to grind all that stuff, it honestly feels like that they want you to stay in areas for prolonged periods of time, so you can, um, so you can get more levels than you actually need. <clears throat> Dang it. So, um, because just like well, in Souls games, every single time you level up, you have to get an additional 20... I'm here with a mistake! Kind of weird. I could stop their um. Yeah, it's 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 okay that you're turning in a bit late. The, these things usually go on for like about an hour and a half. So 13 minutes really isn't that much of a uh, of a loss. But yeah, you you can always get caught up. I've been uploading the streams to YouTube, or yeah. Um, because you're just getting caught up, I might as well tell you. Um, I've been working on the, uh, skill tree. Um, I've been traveling down one path, literally so I can get the highest level, um, sight in the game. And even though the skill tree looks very intimidating, all you need to do is just, is go to the extreme of the map that you honestly really want to go to. Because usually, like these more glowing spots on the map, like these two, are the, yeah, you can tell they have like a different order. Um, they have a, um, they usually have a weapon that you want, and then you just trace the line back through the other upgrades to get to where you want to go. It's so you never feel like that you're going, that you're going down. A path that you end up regretting um, if you do it that way but also every tiny little thing including like getting a weapon gives you a stat point as well so you'll never feel like that you lost out on something because you went down a certain way um, and like the more things you put into it the more things you put into it, the more points you get out of it. So, I have a lot of dexterity because I've been getting um, the level 3 and the level 4 sights. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, I love this in games too, where it's like... Uh, it's where it's like... I want to play exactly the way I want to play. It's why when it comes to um, Destiny I um, or Destiny 2, I never really enjoyed the game as much because it felt like you had to be... Um, it, it felt like that there were certain weapons that you had to use or else you weren't doing as well in the game. It's why instead of Destiny, I played Warframe, which has... I just want to I just want to use this this full arm and I'm gonna use it the entire game. I was like, sure, you can have a build that is all about that. You know, it's like or maybe it's just that I feel awkward playing games that are that are more or less like you are forced to play do you know what it is? I love how in a shooter you can just go with a melee class. I think that's what I love in it. 
but yeah, let's travel back to the castle of Florence. I thought I killed him. Dang it. That was a gross error on my part. On the on the bright side, when I uh, when I come back to teleport away, I can. Uh, Then level up my um. I can increase the devotion of my plant, so. Yay, fire pot. Something I'll never really use. Because light clusters are a lot better. I don't think I've actually run into an enemy yet that is invulnerable to holy damage, actually. I've seen enemies that do holy damage, but I've never actually seen something that is weak to um, that is especially like strong again. Okay. Hey, one more. And now we have everything. We have the. Um, you just came in, so I don't know if you heard. I needed to- I needed to grab nine of these. And I needed to grab twelve of these so I could upgrade the armor I'm currently wearing. Um. Oh gosh. Forgot about that. Weird thing about that enemy is that even though he's- He's a massive guy. He can go through small the Like, this is not what I wanted in my day today. devotion um there's three more and i've already got the stone that's here uh i might as well get fire well so every single, every single time you sit back at the uh place now i will also get a fire along with my usual stuff That I might be fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's not giving me anything. Um, I'm gonna guess because he's using electricity, I'm gonna probably do more damage with fire, but that's just my guess. That fire. That fire, that on because I don't need it. Have the bell on because it's useful to get away from bosses. Again, um, what I found out with the bosses because I can just escape from his lightning. I don't actually keep this lightning shield on. I can instead just use my 100% stuff. But I'm gonna have armor that is more or less lightning resistance um resistant in case i actually do take that damage so i go back to the dome 